dig deeper test group a couple days out from start day and i want to go over a couple quick things with you so that you feel ready and prepped for monday first of all i just got everything printed out i'm not fancy i just did black and white and the home printer <laughs> all right i've got weight tracker ready to go i have to confess i tried day two today because i really want to do legs i'm like I got to test this out. Like, I'm so excited. And it was so much fire. Um, yes, you can go heavy. Yes, if you have like two 20-pound dumbbells, you can turn it into a 40 and make that work. And if you don't have a bench, I didn't have a bench. I still made it work, right? I used this bench from the dining room that the kids ate breakfast off of. And like laid down when I needed to. You can use a chair. So just make it work for you, okay? Um. This will help as you fill in the trackers and it's nice to know, hey, what weights did I use last week so that I can either bump it up the following week and just continue to keep progressing or, hey, this is a little bit of more of a rest week. I'm going to go a little bit lighter, but maybe a little more reps. Um, so weight trackers are there. It's under the resource tab and I'll show you in a sec. I also printed out the 12 week body composition overview so that you just kind of know weeks one through four, what your workout calendar looks like. So you can check it off. There is also, check this out, the workout calendar, ready to go. I am such a person that loves checking something off. So I'm gonna put it right here on the wall, right in my workout space, so that right after I do it, put a little check mark, I love seeing all the check marks add up because it's just boom, 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 boom. Dues paid, dues paid, dues paid. One step closer to that great version of me that I want to become. Other note that I want you guys to do today or tomorrow, take your progress photos, meaning your starting photos and your measurements. So there's a little thing in here in the um, under the program materials where you can fill out your chest measurement, your right arm, left arm, waist, hips, legs, um, note for chest, go right around the nipple line, deep breath in. When you let it out, take that measurement. Um, arms, I go flex top of the bicep. And then once you find the, the top of your bicep, relax it, then take the uh, measurement tracker around there once relaxed. Um, but if you want to do it flex each time and see how big your biceps get, do that. You can totally do size of muscle too. Waist. Waist is smallest portion. Uh, my, most of us, it's above our belly button. Smallest portion of when you kind of see that hourglass figure will be your waist. Hips. When you turn to the side, hip measurement is widest part. So you can do it in the mirror so that you can get and see where the biggest part right here of your booty kind of is. And I go right around, which is right there. Boom. Okay. The other measurement I just love to take um, or keep track of is I measure like where all of my like, call it like love handles, <laughs> love handles sit, which is a little bit higher. And so it's about two inches below my belly button. And I love to measure right around there because that's where I'll lose it as I really dial in nutrition too. So measurements are for you. Measurements are for you to see like, okay, where, what areas do you hold it and measure where you want to track. So those are awesome guides. And then for thighs, I measure it by going top of the kneecap. I go about five, six inches up and I measure around the thigh. Okay. Right where you're going to see that quad definition start to grow. That's where I want to start tracking, okay? So that'll help you with some measurements and then pictures. Get a nice blank wall. So I would clear out this wall space and I would put a light, like a ring light, um, a lamp, something that's going to light up this corner. And then I would set my phone on like the bookcase. I could move right here. And I'm going to come over to the wall. I like to put the camera at a level that about like put the phone to where it's somewhere like chest height so that it's not shooting up at you. It's not shooting down at you. It's like right on level. So this would be too low. If I put the phone right where you are right now, too low to so bring it up. And then you could even hit video. You could hit timer on your phone and just boop, get back, stand. 
I recommend doing these is as little clothing as possible. So a bikini, even shorts like this with a sports bra so that you can start to see all the changes that are happening. The worst photos you can take would be something like this, wearing this with your sweatpants. Not that much change you're gonna notice. And it's amazing how you'll notice definition start to pop or waist start to pop or rolls start to decrease if you truly take what might feel like a vulnerable picture right now and you're like, nobody can ever see this, that's fine. Because if it's a lot of skin, that's where you're gonna notice the best changes. So progress photos and we'll go front. I like side and I put my arms up so that my arms don't block anything. Back, arms out or on your hips. And then other side, boom, okay. If you don't have a chance, like you don't have a timer on the phone or something, just hit video and then you can move and it'll video the whole thing. And then you can always screenshot videos, which is nice. All right, so get your measurements taken, get your pictures taken. If you need someone to do them for you, absolutely do that. I like it better than like a selfie in the mirror, okay? Selfies in the mirrors are great. Oh, I don't know why it does that. <laughs> but, um, but I recommend actually doing like somebody taking your photo or setting it on a timer. The last thing that we'll start to use uh, this week and get prepped for are your meals and your food. So if you're doing the to be mindset body block right now, after each of my workouts in the mornings, I go in and I listen to one of the videos from the to be mindset super block. A lot of you have access to this already. Go up here to videos and you can start listening day one, day two, day three. They're really short and really helpful. Um, and they'll give you a good baseline of how to start eating really well. Water first, veggies most, track your food, write it down, and then weighing yourself each morning so you can see what's working and what you need to modify or what you need to change. I'm going to also include a meal plan. Um, this is what I'll be following. I like to keep things super duper basic. If there's too many recipes, I'm not going to do it. So it needs to be a simple dinner like a protein, a veggie, and maybe a healthy carb. So protein wise, pick your favorite proteins. I like to do like a chicken, a ground turkey, and like a plant-based protein, like a tempeh. Um, or you could do a fish, a salmon. Um, and then pick three or four veggies that you can have throughout the week. So we love asparagus, we love cauliflower, we love broccoli, we love carrots, and then I'll get a big thing of mixed greens so that I can do big salads at lunches. And for breakfast, what's your go-to? I love Shakeology for breakfast. I love eggs and a like a sauteed spinach for breakfast. You could do stir fries for dinner. So you get like stir fry veggies with a protein. Um, you could do gluten-free oats at breakfast. I'm jumping around. You could do gluten-free oats at breakfast. Um, if you're doing eggs, awesome. So find what works for you. I've created the plan that is to get protocol. So it's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, corn-free, sugar-free, alcohol-free, caffeine-free. <laughs> so it's very clean. And I say, if you follow that and you take those sensitivity items out, the processed foods out, the high, 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 sugar items and just like high sodium items, the highly processed packaged goods that are usually in a pantry, take those out and you stick to whole foods like what's on this, you're going to do really well. If you want to follow the portion control containers, you can. If your box came with that, you can use those or if you have them on hand. Otherwise, you can follow. I do a hybrid, a four-week cup protocol with 2B Mindset. So I'm not so strict on the containers as much as I'm focusing on every meal having veggies most. Um, so breakfast, it's like a veggie and then an egg on top. Uh, lunch, it's a big salad. Dinner, half my plate is veggies and a quarter of the plate is protein. Snacks can be your Shakeology. Snacks can be a veggie. Um, snacks can even be an apple and a nut, something like that. So you'll get a great idea here. I'll put the shopping list for this example meal plan as well. If you just want to go based on this, awesome. I think you're really going to like it. It ends up being about 1,800, 15 to 1,800 calories for plan B. Um, and I find I am not hungry. Um, I feel very satiated. In fact, at the end of the week, it's usually too much food. 
Um, but my goal is to get it all in because you're going to be building muscle that requires calories. So do not go into big time calorie deficits and go, okay, I'm going to lose 10 pounds in the first week by just not eating. We need to eat. We need your muscles to get this awesome nutrition so that they can continue to heal through this first week as we break them down and so that you don't get injured. Supplements, I've got Energize, I've got Recover. Pre-workout, post-workout, get your recovery in after, after all of the days of lifting. And then I have Shakeology, either as a snack or as a meal each day, okay? Anything you need, questions, anything, message me. Um, but take this time, take this time to get your stuff printed. I find if I don't get it printed, if I'm just kind of like, well, I'll kind of go with the flow and willy nilly and randomness, it leads to ruin. Randomness leads to ruin. Brendan Burchard says that all the time. And it's like, it does like be a steward of this. This is your chance to get really squeaky clean on your nutrition, on your workouts, on your mental state, on your goals that you set out for yourself. Goals with intention, goals with purpose, and really focusing on keeping the promises we made to ourselves for this challenge. So I'm here for it. I'm so excited. I'm going to be right there in the trenches with you learning as we go. Um, anything you need, let's rock. So print them out. Take your picks and your measurements. Get your meal plan ready to rock. I'm putting on, I'm putting in a blank as well. If you want to use these for ideas and make your own and just list out this is what I'm having for breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, and dinner. Um, you can absolutely do that. If you're following more of the two B mindset, that's more like three big meals a day rather than five, five smaller meals with snacks and stuff. Um, and I like the three big meals because sometimes I'm like, there's just too much going on to think of making another snack. So, all right, you guys, let's crush it. Week one, here we come. Let's go.